China has big ambitions. The world's second largest economy expects to grow by more than 6% this year. If China achieves that, it would be on track to match U.S. GDP by as early as 2028. But China also has a big vulnerability. Its dependence on overseas technology, like the parts that power smartphones, computers, and next-generation gadgets. And China is determined to end that. Now, its latest five-year plan gives new insight into how Chinese authorities plan to strengthen its high-tech might. On the first day of the National People's Congress, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang emphasized the importance of innovation. According to the 2021 work report, innovation remains at the heart of China's modernization drive. We will strengthen our science and technology to provide strategic support for China's development. Ali added that China plans to increase spending on research and development by more than 7% a year. On recent years, Chinese tech firms like Huawei and SMIC have been targeted by punishing U.S. sanctions that cut off access to vital components. So, in its five-year plan, China is planning to boost its domestic expertise in a number of key areas, including next generation artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and semiconductors. Now, China's ambition for high-tech self-reliance is not a new one. Its recent 10-year plan called Made in China 2025 was created to shed the country's dependence on foreign technology. It included goals for 40 percent of chips to be produced domestically by the year 2020. That share was supposed to increase to 70 percent by 2025. But according to IC Insights, in 2019, less than 16 percent of the chips China needed were produced at home. When it comes to high-end advanced manufacturing of semiconductor chips, China is actually lagging quite significantly, seven to ten years behind. The thing is, even if China doubled down on its resources and commitment from this moment onwards, uh, Chinese companies will find themselves chasing a moving target. Analysts point to another tech speed bump for China, regulation and government interference that could dampen innovation. In November, Chinese regulators forced Alibaba's financial affiliate Ant Group to postpone its record-breaking IPO and ordered the company to overhaul its business. In a recent research report, Eurasia Group analysts write this, quote, as she pursues ambitions for China at the cutting edge of technology, Beijing recognizes that a top-down approach has limits, but Beijing's willingness to leave more to the market will be challenged by Xi's sense of urgency and frequent preference for a strong hand for the party in state, unquote. The fate of China's most famous entrepreneur revealed the risk of too much success and how a nation's declaration of tech dominance is easier said than done. Christy Liu Stout, CNN, Hong Kong.